George was really flying that kite now. Or maybe it was flying him. without saying goodbye, city folk. I've seen everything in the waters around here. Seen trout, salmon, paddock. Did you see that flying monkey? Seen flying monkeys, striped bass, blowfish. <laughs> George was flying with birds. It was a monkey's best dream come true. Now that he'd lived his dream, his arm was getting sore, and he wanted to go home. But he had no idea how to do that. George? Oh, I could have swore this was where I left that kid with my kite. George, where are ya? Hmm. He couldn't wait. Boy, for a city kid who never flew a kite before, got her up higher than I ever did. <gasps> Whoa! Well, hi, Bill. You own binoculars? Sure do. What's trailing behind that kite? Oh, it's George. It's George? A and he's got a squirrel on his head. Bill, you call the fire department. Okay. Why? I don't know. They seem to know how to do everything. What are you going to do? I'm going up there after him. The world below looked beautiful and unfamiliar. George wasn't even sure which way was home anymore. Oh, and the squirrel in his head was hungry. <laughs> Flying was the best and the worst thing that had happened to him all day. George! Huh? George! It was his friend, the man with the yellow hang glider. <laughs> George, I, I need you to reach out and take my hand with a hand, a uh, foot, whatever. <laughs> guys, hang on tight. <laughs> We're going home. George would never forget the day he was almost a bird. And he added almost being a bird to the list of things squirrels don't like. You're a natural kite flyer, kid. Good work. Lunch is ready. Here's some lunch for you too, Jumpy. <laughs> It's time to bring her in, George! 